Welcome everyone. Adam the Woo here with my friend Natalie. You met up with me in Nashville, Tennessee. So it's been about a week since you have been crossed back over the state line in California, which is right here. We're basically standing on this road, this overpass. Yeah, I've been gone 29 days. Wow. 20, 29 days I have not been in California, but I am back. I'm gonna take you to Los Angeles, to your home, and then I'm gonna go down to Orange County. And when you think of this state, there's a lot of things that come to mind. When we think of food, what, what types of food do you think of? Tacos. Tacos are a big, one of the big items. There are hundreds, if not millions, would you say, of taco stands For sure. around the greater Los Angeles area as well as SoCal. Del Taco, which is a huge franchise, began here. Wow. So I'm thinking maybe we go buy the very first one, which is no longer operational, show that, and then go to the oldest operating one and get some food. Sounds good. <laughs> All right, I'm inviting you to join me on my way back to SoCal. Well, I guess technically we're still in SoCal. We're in SoCal now. We've crossed over the line. And Natalie. I'm back. Welcome Where's back. That? Thank you. It's good to be here. And a good way to enter is through the inspection station. I'm inviting you to join me. Veered off the interstate onto Old 66 once again. A place I always stop off at every time I pass by Newberry Springs. The Baghdad Cafe, open seven days a week. Most notable for me, one of my favorite Huell Hauser episodes took place right inside here many years ago. It's kind of a quirky little, little diner here in town. Named after the movie, the same name of a hotel that sits next door, or used to. There's a lot of vinyl stickers here along. Hello. Hello. You're along welcome to door. come in and look around and uh, make a picture of you and your lady. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, Thank where you. Where are you from? From Los Angeles. LA, me too. I came here from Los Angeles. Uh -huh. Oh, there's John Wayne up there. Is that, is that Christian Slater? That's not Christian Slater. It looks like Christian Slater. I got the dollar bills all along the side of the wall. Oh, hello there. And I want to see if this is still over here in the corner. The Burt, oh yeah, the Burt Lancaster painting is still there on the wall that Huell Hauser points out. There is a lot more decor in here. Wow, this is just like, there's stuff all over. Now the motel from the film has been torn down. Well, I don't know if it was torn down or fell down on its own, but it is. I used to sit right over there. The sign still remains. Jack Palance was the star. to Yermo Road now in Yermo. Found a parking spot there for the rental. Starting to wonder why I park so far away from the establishment known as the Burger Den, more famously recognized as the very first 
original site of Del Taco. There is a piece of signage up top there that states this fact with the cactus. It is currently not even open for burgers, nor for tacos. Now, I believe a few years ago, they were still utilizing this as the original site of Del Taco. But now the closest is a few miles up in Barstow. You can still get Del Taco, the oldest operating. So we're gonna head there too, but cannot pass by this without showing this historical building. Right here, look at the architecture of this. It all began here. Pretty cool to think about. Put the tables out front. Oh, this overhang probably, probably was not there originally. Nor, well that, that might have been. But definitely this. This is it. starting point. According to what I've read, September 16th of 64 is when this opened under the name Casa del Taco. Made 170, just shy of $170 on its first day. The rest is history. Even if you're tempted, do not go over the limit of 35 on 1st Street, a half mile up. Since 1964 in Barstow, the original Del Taco. And that taco has a, a full-size tomato slice on top of it. I've never, have you ever had a full-size tomato slice on top of a taco like that? <laughs> First Ave and Hutchison Street. Even though the building has been repurposed, rebuilt, the signage looks to be as it's been here for many, many years. Over 400 locations, 400 Del Taco locations, but this is the oldest operating meaning it's the oldest one that serves food how hungry are you on a scale of one to ten um, I'm like an 11. oh they have a t-shirt there that has the date on it as well as this this lanyard and stickers they have a smaller sticker for a dollar fifty and a larger sticker for for two dollars maybe i'll get a sticker now they do not allow indoor dining in this county but there are seats outside we're going to get it to go and just go over near the drive through order area to to consume our meal but it shows here 61 a brave new venture ed hackbarth the first del taco that we were just at back in 61 in yermo with 19 cent tacos and fries and 24 cent cheeseburgers showing the celebration of the 50th anniversary back in 14 and there's that tomato again on top after looking at the menu they do serve it in that fashion so I'm gonna get myself a taco with a tomato I went ahead and got one of those stickers the the dollar fifty smaller I'm gonna move my finger there for the for the B here is the menu option up top we went with two number ones and I also got an extra bun taco. And I'm just now re-noticing, well noticing for the first time, that this is where I am standing here. That's the that's what the old building looked like, the second spot, the oldest operating now, the 64 location. This one no longer exists, but this one still going strong. Procured a spot here next to the drive-through, just on the other side of that. It's where you place your order. Underneath this tent is where we will be sitting. You can go in to order, but you have to eat outside. 
or in your car. I'm going with, I haven't really been drinking a lot of soda, but on this road trip, for some reason, I I have drank a little more. So maybe like one soda a day, if that, but still a lot of coffee and water. This is a, a Mr. Pib. And you also went with uh, the Pib as well. Maybe Pib like, also. <gasps> Look at little tomato slimes. <laughs> oh, there we go. They got, I've never seen that before. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> So you went with, you got this, and you got two of the same one. Two tacos and a quesadilla. A quesadilla, and I got a bun taco. You ever had a bun taco before? No, I thought they were saying fun taco, not bun it, taco. Well, a bun taco is fun. <laughs> now you're not really, you're not a big fan of tomatoes in general. You like, you said you like the flavor, but you don't like the texture. I do, I like the flavor that it has on it, but I don't eat them with it. Let's do it like, you know, you've seen the commercials for seafood where they take it and they squeeze the juice out. I'm gonna show what the bun taco is here. So it's basically a hamburger almost, except it has the the, the taco meat there. You got the tomato, <laughs> tomato down in there, and the cheese and the lettuce. Oh yeah, I haven't had a lot of these in my day, but I have had one or two. Whoa, you are you are uh, making a let's say you're getting rid of the tomato, but you're putting a little extra hot. What is that? Hot or mild or mild? I'm gonna go with the bun first. <laughs> kind of similar to a sloppy joe. Similar to the style of it. That's like sacrilegious. <laughs> Can't forget about the quesadilla. You can make yourself a dang quesadilla. <laughs> this is just a cheese. Cheddar. Quesadilla. Oh, yeah, there we are. That cheese pulled off. <laughs> All right. That just happened. Moving on. Now I can, can say I've eaten at the oldest operating Del Taco in existence. returned home after a month of being out with a pink flamingo, new pink flamingo friend for the yard or maybe maybe the living room or maybe one of the bedrooms. Haven't decided yet but got that on the first day of the 12 day road trip cross country but all in all 29 days I was gone. That's gonna do it for today. If you enjoyed this particular episode, give it a big thumbs up. Let's me know you care. I'll see you in the next video. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe by doing so. It helps keep you in the loop. And up to date on future uploads here on this channel, take it a step further. Ring that notification bell. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over. <laughs>